Ya finalmente hoy es el día, así que estamos preparando todo para irnos. Pues feliz cumpleaños a mí. And well, this is it. It's time to ride. Let's enjoy this beautiful sunny day with a blue sky. I cannot ask for anything more. Well, even when this is a sunny day, I need to be prepared because we are going to the mountains and the weather can be a little colder than this one. I'm still being an islander. I was living in the Philippines for many years. So I'm not used to this kind of weather. It's good to be prepared. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me again in my channel, Two Wheels Across Mexico. This time, as I said before many, many times, it's my birthday. And the best way to celebrate it, I find out to be riding my motorcycle. So we need to fill out the gas again, because if you remember the last video, the tank was leaking, but it was because of the weather. It was too hot yesterday, and now it's half tank. So I need to fill it out again. And if you are watching this video from another country, please let me know how particular do you find out that in Mexico we don't have self-service. We have people that is helping us to fill it out the tank, to check the tires, to clean the windshield and everything else. I know that this is something that is not really peculiar or is not common in the US, but let me know if in the country that you are watching this it's something usual. Okay, and remember, never forget to check your tires before you go to the highway. And now that we are good to go, let's hit the road. I'm not longer living in Querétaro. I live in a really nearby city called San Juan del Rio. And the plan for today is that we are going to go through Tequisquiapan. This is another Pueblo Magico or Magic Town one of those that I will be speaking in detail later. Okay, let me take this drone down and let's continue to the next stop in this trip. And then now we are going ahead to Bernal or Peña de Bernal. This is a really interesting place here in Querétaro and is maybe one of the most popular spots for moto tourism or tourism in general because he is really nearby from Mexico City and you will have something spectacular that you have just in a few spots in the world. Here you will find the biggest stone in Mexico. Well, Bernal is the house for this monolith and is the third in the world is just behind Gibraltar and Rio de Janeiro. Okay, here we are. It takes us like forever. We are here already in Bernal. This is a magic town. We are going to speak about that uh, in another video this is only one stop and uh, definitely is something beautiful that you must to see in life if you are able to came here you must to do it we are coming here today just a stop we are going to enjoy one of the delicious dishes that is traditional here in Bernal it calls nopal de penca well, as I mentioned before, I'm running for this initiative that is Rodando Rutas Mágicas. One of the challenges that they have is a gastronomic one. So they are encouraged people in order to enjoy traditional Mexican dishes. And this is one of this. This is the Nopal in Penca. This is very famous here in Bernal, most of, most of it. Uh, we well, we are going to try it. We tried it before, but now I need to take my photo to upload it into the website and still counting points for my next patches. And we are going to take the back road behind the Peña and then we are going uh, to take 
the road for Sierra Gorda and enjoy the trip and enjoy the corpse to San Joaquin here in Querétaro. So please come with me, enjoy. I hope that you really like it and we'll see what's happening in the road. And now it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful town and continue with the trip. From Querétaro to Bernal is around 50 minutes and from Bernal to San Joaquin it's supposed to be a little more than an hour. Obviously it's taking me a little more than that because all the stops, all the shooting and all the drone videos. But it's a really short trip in order to see beautiful things. I'm going to let you hear some of the best shots that I get from the Sierra Gorda. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. Like I mentioned before in the previous video, I'm not one of those who celebrate their birthday. It's more for a professional issue more than a personal one. But right now, coming back here to Mexico, living in Querétaro again, and taking back my motorcycle is a whole completely story. I know that for some people it may be lame, but motorcycling already saved me. I find a way, I find my uh, compass again. Riding a motorcycle for me is not just a hobby. It's something that I always like and for many many reasons during my life I was be postponing for healthy issues, personal issues, family issues. They were always something before my hobby, my passion. And now I believe that after seven years in the Philippines, after really living or knowing what is happening with me without this, this is something that I will not let it down again. Well, we finally arrived here to San Joaquin. I hope that you enjoy all the shots that I can get from the Sierra Gorda and the curve that we are passing through all the way. It was a really marvelous 
road to be riding. I cannot be asking for anything better for a birthday celebration after many many years without riding here in Sierra Gorda. As you can see San Joaquin is a really um, pintoresco, this is a word that I don't even know in English, and you will find that it is a beautiful place. As you can see in the shot that I showed you before, even the vegetation, all the environment has already changed. We were into the semi-desert. Now we can see even pines here around us. It's like a wood. And definitely it's a place that you need to come and visit. We are here in the, the Mirador for the view in Las Crucitas. Well, as you can see, San Joaquin is a beautiful town just in the middle of the mountains. San Joaquin is considered as a magic town or Pueblo Magico just since 2015. It means that at the time that I was here, it wasn't a Pueblo Magico. I was here around 2014, 13, something like that. And uh, well, it was not a magic town, so now I can take my picture for the initiative Rodando Rutas Magicas. Remember always that initiative because it will be mentioned a lot here in this channel. And I will talk about this in detail later. Uh, please let me know if you want to know more about San Joaquin and more about the initiative Rodando Rutas Magicas. Give me a like and I will be showing you more information regarding this one. Joaquin is a miner's town. It was the, the maximum splendor for this town was around in 1915-97 when the mercury fever hits around the area and it was a really prosperous region. But this miner culture is not just for the 19th century. It came from a really really long long time ago. I just need to stop here in the middle of the road to have this view. My goodness, this is so beautiful. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I do because this was a really special one. You know, this is my birthday and I need to say goodbye. I need to cut this video right now. I need to go back to Querétaro non-stop because I take a lot of time to come here. And remember, my name is Rodrigo, a.k.a. Obama. And see you in the next video. Remember, come with me and let's ride in two wheels across Mexico. Take care. See you soon.